I knew that fame happened when I would go out in public and get recognized. That it wasn't just at porn conventions. And when it happened, I freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh, this guy said, hi, Angela, at the, at the gas station. And I thought, oh, this is it, I've arrived. I remember coming home to this beautiful marble floor, gorgeous counters, and I went up on the counter and I just laid there and I cried. Because earlier that day, this old man was on top of me and he was sweating all over me and his sweat would drip into my eyes. And I just look and I just stare at the money because the only difference between rape and that moment was the money. And that's what my life became about. I no longer had friends. I didn't have my family. Money is what I'd have in one hand and a bottle of alcohol in the other when I went to bed. Pornography took everything. I love cooking. Obviously, by looking at me, I'm one of the only ones that know how to cook. That's why I have this size. <laughs> and you definitely don't have to film that part. Pretend like I don't have any bad habits. <laughs> so I had a great life. I was born five foot eight. I've only grown two inches since third grade. And my father was a preacher. I was constantly trying to better the world, better be a better person, um, change lives. This is me as a youth pastor. I was about 21 years old in this picture. And this is what I looked like when I got raped. My whole dream of life was gone. Everything that I wanted to grow up to be died on the pavement. I went from that to a party and this guy owned this website. The model had flaked and I was like, sign me up. I didn't call myself a porn star because I didn't know what I was doing. I just lost my virginity. I don't know up from down. But quickly people coached me. And I was booked and I was $400. I now had the reality that there was a price tag on my body. There was harsh sex, but it took my mind off the pain. Like if my sex was painful and the harder and crazier it, it was, it was kind of like the more you beat me up, the more you slap my face, the more violent you are to me, like maybe I deserve this. And that's, yeah, that was my new life. And I remember hating when clients would say, I love you, Angela. I'm like, please, anything but that. You can do anything to my body, but do not say that you love me. Love was a word that messed me up big time. I would pop as many pills as I could get my hands on and then just drink and drink and drink, trying to overdose. When I would wake up from my suicide attempts, um, I would get drunk. And, like It was that realization that I hated who I became, I hated money, and it was killing me. And um, at the very end, I called my parents when I said, I really messed up. That was the night my parents answered the phone. So through recovery, my parents have been there. When I traded in porn, I got my family back. Now we talk every single day. There is nothing that is worth the life I chose. Now that I'm out of the industry, I want to be a wife and I want to be a mother. And one thing that I really want is I want to be a friend. I want the truth to be known about porn.